Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the concept of comparators. Comparators and clippers both are one and same, but comparators are regenerative circuits and clippers are non-regenerative circuits. I will tell you what do you mean by regenerative and non-regenerative. What is the meaning of comparator? Comparator is used to compare two input signals. Comparator purpose is to compare two input signals and gives you a particular output. Suppose for example, in your understanding way, I am saying uh, take two signals V1, V2. Okay. So, the purpose of comparator is used to compare two input signals. Two input signals. Signals nothing but signals amplitude. Their amplitude is going to be compared. Suppose these two signals, consider two signals, they are having amplitudes V1 and V2. Suppose if V1 is greater than V2, output is said to be a logic 1. This is the general scenario how we, a comparator is going to be used. So, when in V input, uh, when V1 is greater than V2, we are assuming that the output is logic 1. And when V1 is less than V2, then output V0 is equal to logic 0. Okay, that means the output condition either logic 0 or logic 1 that is completely dependent upon the two input conditions whether it is greater than or less than comparison. Okay, so the purpose of comparator is used to compare the two input signals. Here, comparator can also be made up of clippers. Comparator can be made up of clipping circuits. Clipping circuits but the difference is what is the basic difference between the comparator and clipper you know the purpose of clipper is used to eliminate or uh, clip a part of the signal clipper purpose is to eliminate part of the signal and comparator purpose is to compare the in two input signals. So, that uh, what is the uh, best comparison or distinguishing between the comparator and the clipper. So, if you see the difference between comparator and clipper is clipper is we can say it is a non regenerative non regenerative comparator Clipper is nothing but a non-regenerative comparator. Hope you understand the meaning of non-regenerative. Non-regenerative means in a clipper, suppose if a sinusoidal signal is applied at the input of this clipper. Okay. Suppose I want to eliminate this particular part. Then after passing through this clipper, whatever the circuit that is meant for this particular action, Okay, and after passing through this clipper, this is the output of the clipper circuit. This is output and this is the input. Okay, but the part which has been eliminated after passing through the clipping circuit will not come back, will not be retrieved, it cannot be regenerated. Okay, so, so clipper is nothing but elimination of completely elimination of a part of the signal depending upon the type of the uh, reference voltage we are giving okay so clipper is nothing but elimination of part of the signal so that's why 
it may be called also as a non regenerative comparator non regenerative comparator because it is comparing with respect to the reference voltage it is comparing with respect to the reference voltage keeping either input voltage as it is and keeping either vr as it is okay this condition will be occurred with the v input either greater than vr v input either less than vr if v input is greater than vr what is the output we hear output is equal to vr if V input is less than VR, what is the output here? V out is equal to Vn. Okay, with that, with these two conditions, this particular waveform is going to be drawn. Hope you understand. Okay, so the comparison is taking place between the input voltage and the reference voltage so that the output is determined a particular level. But in the comparators, Okay, by seeing this statement, what we can understand, clippers are a non-regenerative comparator. So what about the comparators? Comparators are regenerative circuits. So whatever the part that has been eliminated or lost during the operation of the comparison, that can be retrieved back using a pause to feedback. Using a pause to feedback. Such type of comparators are examples are Smith triggers. Comparators are Comparators are regenerative circuits. Regenerative circuits. They use regenerative means whatever the signal lost during the operation that can be again fed back. They use positive feedback. Positive feedback to get the lost signal to get the eliminated or removed signal or we can say removed signal back that's why comparators we can say it is a regenerative circuit and whereas the clipping circuits are non-regenerative circuit there the signal cannot be getting back and here in comparators we can get the signal back okay so for example for example, consider the following clipping circuit, following clipper circuit as see here, I am taking a clipper circuit like a resistor followed by a diode which is in the reverse direction and here a reference supply VR like this. This type of circuit we might have already seen but now we are taking for the action of comparator C. Instead of applying a sinusoidal signal like in the previous case, now apply a ramp input. Apply a ramp input. Okay. So consider the reference voltage at this particular instant vr this is zero and this is input voltage this is the time instant at t1 and it is time axis what is the output voltage what is the waveform of the output signal see again here also we need to compare the either sides of diode an anode and as well as cathode anode is connected to the vr positive side and cathode is connected to the input cathode is connected to the input. So, if the anode potential is more compared to the cathode potential, diode is said to be non-state and if the anode potential is less compared to the cathode potential, diode is said to be in off-state. Okay. So, with these two cases, case 1, if input voltage is greater than Vr, we are comparing these two. Okay, comparator is used to compare two signals, two input amplitudes. Okay, this is what we are doing in the case of clipper. Okay, once go back and see all the clippers, operations of all the series and shunt type clippers. All the clippers we have used this method, which is nothing but a comparison. We are comparing the input signal with respect to VR always, so that the diode on off conditions is going to be determined and the output waveform is expressed. Okay, so now let us assume a condition V input is greater than here the voltage Vn which is greater compared to Vr. What about the diode? Diode is said to be in on, off state. So, 
diode is off state so when diode is in off state what is the output output is equal to input and v input is less than vr input is less than vr what is the condition c input voltage is less nothing but cathode potential is less compared to anode potential so output voltage diode is in on state and output voltage v naught is equal to vr because diode is acting as a short circuit so output we are taking across the vr then output is equal to vr now with these two cases let us draw the output waveform with the input vr here it is vr and it is the ramp signal which is nothing but the input signal this vr is marked here at t equal to t1 now what is the first case this is case 2 what is the first case input voltage is greater than vr output is equal to vn input is this is the input signal vi let me take a different color see let us draw the output waveform now when input is greater than vr means from here and above here and above output is equal to vn so output is also following the input signal the same signal and input is less than vr output is equal to vr so input is less than vr means for all this remaining signal output is equal to vr this is the output waveform okay so until you reach at t is equal to t1 there is a constant voltage like vr after t is equal to t1 then diode is in off state so output is equal to input this is the output voltage okay so comparator is nothing but a regenerative circuit whereas clipper is nothing but a non regenerative circuit the signal which is lost during clipping action cannot be getting back in the case of clipper that's why it is known as non regenerative circuit so this is about comparator thank you